Hey guys, it's your girl Dama. I'm back to bring you guys another unboxing. I know you guys missed me, so I'm back on my regular schedule pumping out these videos for you guys. Be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Also, leave a comment. Also, leave a thumbs up. You can leave a thumbs down, whatever you feel is, you know, necessary, but rock with your girl. So let's get into this. It's going to be like a little story time, little unboxing, little, little mashup of everything, but Lego. August 2nd was Yeezy Day, as everyone knows. Hit me up down below and let me know if you were able to get through whatever you caught from Yeezy Day. Just leave a comment down below so I could, you know, see how y'all did on Yeezy Day. The story is, I was able to get through three times on Yeezy Day. Okay, I was on from, I believe it ran from maybe 9.30 a.m. to like 9.30 p.m. Or was it 10 a.m. to 10 p.m.? Whichever one, it was an all-day event. I mean, they were dropping sneaker after sneaker. One sneaker dropped on Adidas. Next sneaker dropped on Yeezy Supply. One sneaker dropped on Adidas. It was like back and forth, ping pong, ping pong all day. I was only able to get three, through three times for the whole day. Mind you, I was on there the whole day, literally. I was bummed out because I really was on there to get the inertias. I wanted the inertias and the clays, but I wasn't able to cop them. This time I was able to get through, it was for the all black 750s. I didn't want those, okay? When they first dropped, I thought they were gonna be like a, a gray gray, like not a gray gray, sorry, a rich black, like black black. Like I love black sneakers, but they have to be black black. When they released, they were actually like an ashy looking black. They kind of look gray. So I was like, you know what? I don't want those. I didn't want them the first time. I'm not gonna play myself and get them just as I let them go able to get through on Yeezy Supply for the all white 350s V2s. I let those go too because I'm like, bruh, like, I'm not a fan of all white sneakers. Like, they have to be like all white with some other color. If they're all white, then they have to be like bomb sneakers. And those, they didn't do it for me. And I know they would have just been sitting yellowing and I probably would have sold them. So I was like, let me not even waste my money. Let me not waste my money. And let those go so i would have got those in a size six and a half but i let them go so the last time that i got through i went back on adidas and i was able to get through for something that i actually wanted haha <laughs> top three top three sneakers that i was gunning for i wanted the inertia 750s I still want those i wanted the clay 350s i still want those and i wanted these so all in all i was able to get through three times out of a full day of trying to get through on websites that's not bad for me not having no bot not having no help i just one screen open that's it no no people helping me no nothing it's, you know i did pretty good for that day i you know give myself a pat on the back for that one but let's get into this unboxing. So, this pair is the Mauve 700s. I'm happy that I was able... Oof, did I break my nail? Uh, I'm happy that I was able to get through on these because I feel like these are the perfect fall. These are the perfect fall sneakers and this is what I really wanted them for. Fall is around the corner, so I'm about to be popping in these for the fall time. And I already have the 700 Wave Runners, which are my absolute, absolute favorite 700s. Hands down. I don't feel like no pair that they will come out with will beat them 700s, baby. Them 700s, let me tell you about them 700s. Them 700s is life, period. But yeah, so let's get into these sneakers. Again, these are the Mav 700s. I got these from Adidas on Yeezy Day, and I got them in a size 7. Let me just show y'all the tag. Okay, I usually get my 700s in a size 7. 
but I could have went down a size but when I by the time I got through they didn't have a size six and a half so I was like you know what fuck this God wanted me to get through so whatever he got I'm gonna take it okay this is from the Lord himself he came down and he was trying to get me these sneakers so I said okay my my wave runners is in a seven I've been rocking out with them so everything is copacetic I could get these in a size seven too they might they're gonna be a little big but we're gonna work it out a little little smidget big they're like a half size big but we're gonna work these out baby but yeah these are what they look like like my babies is a home my babies is home you know it's it's a good feeling like if you collect sneakers you already know it's like the greatest feeling on the earth when you're able to get something that you wanted but you wasn't trying to pay resale for and you got it for a regular price like either the either you got it for retail price or you got a steal like that's the greatest feeling ever anybody could go out and ball out and pay four hundred dollars for these like five hundred dollars for a pair of sneakers a thousand dollars fifteen hundred for a pair of sneakers but i'm not doing that nah that's dead that has to be a pair that i cannot live without but i'm not just because i missed the release i'm just gonna drop two thousand dollars on a pair of sneakers nah bruh i like the chase the 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 hunt like you know i like the hunt for the sneakers like one day it's gonna come back to me and it's gonna be at a dope price and that's what sneaker collecting is for me like shit is dope when you could just score your favorite or a sneaker that you want and you didn't break a break your bank for it like that's super fire to me and that's what i love about sneakers so fire so fire i just love the browns with the with the the gray i guess this is gray it might be supposed to be black but it looks gray in person but i i dig it i love the neon green on the side with the gum bottoms you see the little boost peeking out in the white <coughs> i just love these sneakers like i just love them with the brown these sneakers are gonna be the fallest sneakers that i have in my collection i can't wait to bring these babies out i'm definitely i'm gonna hold these until the fall like it's it's still blazing hip hop and R&B outside, so I'm not gonna wear these, but when the weather breaks and it gets a little cool, I'ma pull these out. That was my Yeezy day experience. If they ever do it again, I'm almost sure if I got the time, if I'm not busy, you know, working or whatever, that I'll actually do it again. Cause it was a fun, ex it wasn't a fun experience, but it was an experience. You win some, you lose some. That's all in the game of sneakers, for real, for real. You're not gonna hit every release that you want, but. But thank you guys for joining me in my little Yeezy day story time slash sneaker unboxing. So I will see you guys in my next video.